everyone, I'm Jeff. I just thought I might take a moment here to talk about how I grip the bowstring. Um, what type of hook I use on my fingers. There seems to be a few different ways. Some people like to grip it off the tips of the fingers. Some people off a second digit. I like to, I like to grip my bow right off my first digits here as a, in a deep hook, wrapping my fingers around the string. Um, the easiest way to show it is show it like this. See those fingers are actually wrapped right around that string, deep hook into the first digits. You see what that automatically does. So look at my hand, my wrist, and my arm. They're now a straight unit. Okay. If I go off my fingertips, that wrist tends to break a little bit because it takes force to hold that string in place. So I like a nice deep hook. I can draw my string and this now forearm, my wrist and hand, act as a single lever, single unit. Okay. Um, what that does is it helps promote proper back tension. Um, for example, by using the tips of your fingers, if you notice you try to hold on to the string with the tips, you now have to use muscles in your hand in order to keep that string from slipping off. You now have to use forearm muscles to help pull through that shot. As soon as you start to use muscles in your hand and muscles in your wrist and muscles in your arm, that means you're not using proper back tension. So the reason I use a nice deep hook is because it's, it's, it's a nice solid grab of the string and it means that I don't have to use any muscles in here in my arm or wrist or, or, or hand in order to keep that string in place. And that allows my back to now take over when I draw that string. My back muscles, my rhomboid muscles can now pull together and I can now pull through that shot. Okay. I notice that uh, people who grip the uh, string with the tips of their fingers, they tend to do a static release. And I think one of the reasons for that is because they're not getting proper back tension. Um, as I said, as soon as you engage your arm muscles, your back muscles don't work properly. So by doing that and having a static release, now you've got to move your fingers or get your fingers out of the way of the string. That's why a lot of people end up plucking and shooting this way. Okay. If you notice Olympic archers like uh, Katina Lorig, Katuna Lorig um, you know, she's got a fabulous release. She's got a nice deep hook. And she's just right here, a nice dynamic follow through that back tension never quits. And the only reason she can get such good back tension is because she has a nice deep hook on her string. You notice that when I release a string, I'm here, I have a nice deep hook. My fingers don't have to move forward to let that string go. I just move my hand back and those fingers trail as the string pulls away. Okay. One of the other things that I don't like about using my fingertips to grip the string is when you push on the fleshy part of your finger you will notice this little speed bump occurs. Now when you're holding the string this way you can see it right here. You can see the speed bump here. That string has to get around that speed bump. I know it's not much but when you start shooting at longer distances that can make a difference because it creates an unnecessary vibration of the string. The whole idea of a release is to have a nice, smooth, vibration-free release of the string. Okay. When you're here, you're letting the string go gently. Here, you're having to beat the string. Um, anyway, I just thought I might do this quick video. Oh, other thing too. When I do grip that string, I'm here. You notice this hand muscle, or this hand, is parallel with my bow. Okay, I'm not, I don't have it twisted. I'm not twisted this way, I'm not twisted this way. My hand is parallel with my bow. And that keeps me from torquing the string. Okay, um, as soon as you start to grip with those fingers, you can start to torque a little easier. And that torques the bow. And again, that creates more inconsistencies, inconsistencies in your shot. Um, so for myself, what works for me is utilizing a nice deep hook. And that deep hook takes away the pressure in my arm. It can act just as a lever. 
I can then get proper back tension and get through my shot properly. That's why I use it. Anyway, I hope everybody has a nice day.